the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, man, how you doing? Yeah. All right, guys, back here in Belcara. I'm with Ashraf and Fred. We're taking this little uh, Zodiac out. Our plan is to probably go to Bedwell Bay. Might dive a shipwreck out there, but that's all to be determined. Nice day out, nice weather, uh, glassy water, super calm. All right, time to cruise. right off to the uh, tree. No wind, there's no, uh, no swell, no current. So we are gonna check out a new spot here again. Got no idea what to expect, but hopefully uh, hopefully we got some good structure. Maybe some cool stuff to see. Uh, but fun out here in uh, two seconds. Pretty cool. I've been experimenting with some various dive lights for a side project I'm working on. This sucker pumps out 2500 lumens, night and day difference from my other light that only produces 500. And yes, pun intended. If you're looking for a dive light, get the brightest you can afford. It's a great investment. Starfish feed by extending their stomach out of their mouth over their prey. The prey is partially digested externally before soup-like chowder is drawn back to its digestive glands. The ocean is an alley place. We're gonna cruise and check out another spot. This spot was pretty cool. Uh, some decent structure, nice vertical walls, but yeah, we're gonna see what else is in the area. Now we're here at Twin Islands. We're gonna dive around here, see if I can find anything under this dock. Uh, nice little spot. myself a new fork. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. I also found this ecosystem. I mean, contract. Look at the amount of life on this thing though. Crazy. Generally, I, you know, I take trash out of the ocean, but this prawn trap has so much life on it, you know, it might be better just to leave it underwater.
I don't know what it is, but I think there's honestly a magnet that lifts under every single dock because it just attracts foes and expensive stuff. I don't know what cliff jumping in an open saw suit does, but hopefully uh, nothing bad. Here goes nothing. Do I uh, put I this one too? No, yeah, it's tucked out there. Yeah. After a little cleanup and some cliff jumping, we decided to go hunt down the shipwreck. Yeah, I like right here. Yeah, I like right around here if we were to anchor. Now we should be right on top of it. It was a bit of a struggle, but we found the shipwreck. It's an old skeletal structure. It's an old uh, fishing boat that sank in the early 1900s, they believe. Um, I think this one was discovered in the 1970s. It was a popular spot to bring people to go scuba diving. It's a good place for people to learn, but unfortunately with all the diving, uh, the wreck got destroyed. But it's still cool to explore. Uh, interesting to think about what that boat was used for and uh, who was on it back in the day. I first dove this wreck a couple years ago in 2018. Even since then, I've noticed some more deterioration. I wouldn't say it's the most exciting dive out there, but if you're in the area, it's worth checking out. It won't be long before this wreck is gone, and it's nothing more than a fading memory. Yeah, I think this is our last stop. Uh, we're gonna look for some stuff to get. Looking cold today. <laughs> there is no sweet relief there. Scratching that it just makes it worse. The crabs have to be six and a half inches. They have to be male. With a male. Let's get that uh, white house. Out of three half of the grid. We also found this kayak below someone's private dock, possibly lost during the storm. Any kayak experts watching? What do you guys think? Still salvageable? No crab for me this trip, but that's okay. Getting out and exploring is food for the soul. And these adventures do a great job of keeping me fed. Thanks again, Fred, for the boat dive, and to everyone else who watches and supports these videos. Peace and love. Happy holidays. Shake this up.